This tutorial is targeted to professionals, practitioners, and students working for litter-free coasts and seas. Before any beach litter survey begins, the site to be monitored should be selected, taking into consideration certain criteria. Ideally, a mix of different types of beaches should be selected. They should be situated in the vicinity of ports or harbors, river mouths, coastal urban areas, tourism destinations, or in relatively remote areas. In addition, the selected beaches should have a minimum length of 100 meters, be characterized by a low to moderate slope, have clear access to the sea, be accessible to survey teams throughout the year, ideally not be subject to cleaning activities. In case they are subjected to litter collection activities, the timing of non-survey related beach cleaning must be known so that litter flux rates can be determined. The surveyors should make sure they do not pose any threat to endangered or protected species and their habitats. In many cases, this would exclude protected areas, but it depends on local management arrangements. At least four surveys should be carried out, one per season. Autumn, mid-September to mid-October, winter, mid-December to mid-January, spring, April, summer, mid-June to mid-July. The surveyor's safety should be the number one priority during any survey activity. Caution should be used and safety guidelines should be followed. The items necessary to carry out beach surveys are handheld GPS unit, 100 meter tape measure, scale, flag markers, stakes, marking tape, protective gloves, rubbish bags, rigid container and sealable lid, recording sheets, pens, first aid kit. The beach litter survey is performed on a fixed section of a beach, the sampling unit. The sampling unit is a 100 meter stretch of beach along the strand line and reaching to the back of the beach. The back of the beach is identified using coastal features such as the presence of vegetation, dunes, cliff base, road, fence or other anthropogenic structures such as seawalls. Two sampling units should be monitored on the same beach and they should be separated at least by a 50 meter stretch. The same sampling units should be monitored for all repeat surveys. In case of heavily littered beaches, 100 meter stretches may be too difficult to survey and therefore two 50-meter stretches could be surveyed instead. Before the litter collection and sorting begins, shoreline characterization should be completed for each sampling unit. The GPS coordinates of all four corners of the sampling unit should be recorded. The site's special features, including characterization of the type of substrate, beach topography, beach usage, distances from urban settlements, shipping lanes, river mouths, should be recorded using the beach identity sheet. Digital photographs should be taken to document the physical characteristics of the monitoring site. There are no upper size limits for litter items to be recorded on beaches, but in order to ensure the inclusion of caps, lids, cigarette butts and other similar items in the quantification of beach litter, items as small as 2.5 cm in the longest dimension have to be recorded. In case such items are found in extremely high numbers, a 1 meter rather than a 100 meter beach transect should be used instead, saving effort and time. The litter items collected from the sampling unit have to be classified by type according to the master list of categories of litter items. The master list includes 159 different types of litter items which have been given a unique identification number. Each litter item collected should be classified and entered on the beach litter monitoring sheet. Unknown litter or items that are not on the survey sheet should be noted in the appropriate other item box. A short description of the item should also be included on the survey sheet.
The unit to be used to assess the litter density is number of items. Results are expressed as counts of litter items per square meter. In addition, the main category types of litter items, such as plastics, glass, paper, rubber, textile, metal, and processed wood, are weighed. Once the survey is completed, all litter collected should be disposed of properly. Regulations and arrangements that apply in the area should be followed. Proper monitoring of our beaches is an important contribution to keeping our coasts and seas litter-free. Now that you know how, join the collective effort.